Hey, we're the Ohio guys, and we're on location at AlmaCon this weekend in Michigan. And today we're joined by Tiffany Grant. How are you doing today? I am pretty awesome because we are inside and outside. It's really effing cold. Yes, it is very cold out today. Yes. We're used to it, though. We're from Ohio. so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm from Houston, Texas, and it's about 69 degrees there right now. So yeah. warm. It's nice. must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so what is it like working in the industry today? Well, uh, things in the industry, it's really, uh, really quite different than what it was, like, say, 10 years ago. You know, I mean, when I first started, we would, the shows that we were working on, they would come out on videotape. So you, you do, you know, one videotape may only have, like, one episode or two episodes or something. So it would, you'd work on a show over a much longer period of time. You know, and, and then when we moved to DVD, well, like maybe four episodes would come out on a DVD, so you'd only do these kind of small batches of the show, and now it'll be at least like 12 or 13 episodes will come out at one time, and so you'll work kind of on that whole block in one go, basically. So it just, you're working on it in a much more compressed amount of time. When we worked on Evangelion, for example, that show was in production over the course of about a year and a half originally, because when it came out, it was on thirteen videotapes. So it was, you know, it something was, like yeah. we'd we do like one volume of Evangelion, and then we'd work on Golden Boy or whatever, you know. So we were working on a lot of different things at once, and now it's just all focused down to you're working on this one show for several weeks at a time and then it's done and then you do the next thing so that's to me that's where i see is the really the big difference from my perspective okay um what is the what is your favorite anime that you've worked on so far if you can pick one yeah thank most you. people say it's like trying yeah, to pick like your favorite baby it's, or something like that it's so it really really is difficult <laughs> to pick like one favorite one i mean i do have several favorites obviously evangelion um azamanga daio uh, Excel Saga is definitely one of my favorites. Telekinesis Animation Theater. Um, I just, I, what I really like about this, the business and about this kind of work is that I've been able to do a lot of different kind of characters. So voice acting has allowed me to be able to voice a lot of different characters that I never would be able to do on camera or on stage. And that aspect of it is what I really enjoy. That's my favorite thing about the industry is the variety of characters that I can play. And, uh, you know, as long as my voice doesn't change too much, I can still keep playing these kind of characters for a really long time. So, you know, potentially in, like, my 50s and 60s, I could still be playing, like, 10-year-old boys. And obviously, that's not something I could ever do on camera, so... There are people in the I industry like that are still doing that, actually. Yeah, oh, absolutely. They're in their 50s it's, and 60s it's still great. Doing it. And even, you know, older than that, maybe, you know, it depends on how much my voice changes, but I can still play, um, you know, teenagers and, and kids and, and all that stuff. So for me, it's fantastic. Oh, we enjoy it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, what was it like working on Neon Genesis Evangelion? Well, you know, it, it, was, it was a good show, and there were a lot of aspects of it that I enjoyed at the time. The thing to understand about it, and I know um, a lot of people watching this won't be old enough to remember when we were working on the show, but uh, ADV started working on Evangelion when it was still airing in Japan. So when Ava first aired in Japan, it did not air nationally. It only aired in certain cities. And it then, you know, there was kind of a buzz about it. So then they aired it a second time where it aired nationally. So by that time... ADV had already gotten in and negotiated the rights to do the TV series to release it um, in the U.S. on home video. So when the home video version came out on VHS, that, that got released in the U.S. before it was released in Japan. So the point of all of this history lesson is it was not an international cult phenomenon. There was no Hello Kitty Oscar back then, okay? It was... It, it was a show that was, you know, had a growing following and people were interested in it, but it was a new thing. So we didn't know what it would develop into, and we didn't know that there would be death and rebirth and end of Ava and rebuild movies and like six different manga. We didn't know that all of those things would be coming in the future. So it was fun. I enjoyed working on it. To me, one of the things that I most enjoyed at the time 
was that she was uh, from Germany. And so I got to speak German, and I was so excited about that because my mom, when I was taking German in high school and college, she really did not approve of that idea. And she thought that I should take something practical like Spanish. Mi español es muy malo. Okay, so she really wanted me to Better take. Than mine. <laughs> she wanted me to take Spanish, but I really wanted to take German, and so I did. And uh, yeah, I thought, wow, I have a character that gets to speak German. So that was, to me, it was about the most exciting thing at the time. And then, of course, the aspect that it wasn't really a one-note character. It was a character that was more developed and had a lot more emotional issues. And so, as an actor, that was very good to get to chew on that. Good. Um, if you could be any of the characters you've played in real life, and you can mix and match, who would it be? Mm. Now, I see, I, I, I told you before this interview started, that was going to be yeah, really... Yeah, it's a hard oh, question. It is a really, <laughs> a really difficult question. Um, and I didn't want to think of that too much, because I'm just going to let this come to me as we go. But for some reason, the thing that I'm thinking of the most is uh, I love playing little boy characters. Okay, that's one of my absolute favorite things to do. And... There was this character I played in Excel Saga, uh, Sandora, and he was about an eight or nine year old boy from some indeterminate South American country. And so, you know, maybe for a day, I would like to be Sandora. He was pretty feisty and he got up to a lot of adventures. And uh, he wanted to go to America and become an animator, and then he would send money home to his mama. It was, it was so offensive and non politically correct. Most of Excel Saga was, but it was totally, enjoyable. Totally, but it was enjoyable, totally though. Great. Yeah, but I don't care. It was great. It was yeah. a lot of fun. So it was a that would be fun to be, to be Sandora for a day. Like, there's no other time probably in my life when I will get to be an eight-year-old South American boy. But I, I got to do it once, so. Okay. Um, is there anything coming out that you can talk about right now? If there isn't, that's fine. We understand. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of things. One thing that I worked on, and this is it's really weird, but I think it's going to be streaming soon on possibly the uh, the Anime Network's website or maybe the Sentai website. It's this travel travel log series that's live action, and it's just really weird. It's these three Westerners that go for their first trip to Tokyo and all of these weird things that happen to them, and it's supposed to be like giving you advice about things that you can do and you go to Tokyo, places that you can see, and I'm the narrator for that. And it was, I can't even really describe what it is, but if that does stream, you really should take a few minutes to watch that. There are 13 episodes that I think are 13 minutes each, and uh, it was just really crazy. And there is a new project that I just recorded on about a week ago, and I don't think it's actually been announced yet, but uh, I really am very excited for it to be announced because it's, one of the best things that I think I've worked on in a couple of years. So I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm just going to say, I play an eight-year-old boy. So <laughs> yay for me. Uh, which do you enjoy Do you enjoy more, uh, voice acting or script writing? Or are they both enjoyable? Oh, uh, well, I mean, there are enjoyable aspects about both of them. Uh, script writing can be very, very tedious. And uh, it made me want to pull my hair out. So just generally for artistic fulfillment, I would have to say voice acting. There there are definitely aspects of script writing when it can be artistically fulfilling, but there are so many obstacles in the way, you know, matching the mouth flaps and cultural references and figuring out what you're going to do with a pun and all that kind of crazy stuff. So it can be a little bit brain numbing. Okay, uh, the final question. Uh, do you have any fan pages on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social medias? Well, I'm I'm kind of a weird old lady, and I don't, <laughs> I don't really like doing all the social media stuff. I know that you want me to, but I just, uh. Anyway, I do actually have a website that gets updated periodically. The part of it that gets updated consistently on my website is uh, the conventions that I'm doing. I always keep that up to date, and instead of trying to spell everything out about my website, it's not that complicated, but just Google me. If you put my name into Google, my website's going to pop right up there. And let me give you some advice based on an experience that I had today. Do not believe everything that is on Wikipedia and not everything on IMDb is true. And I'm sorry. It just isn't. I have just shattered your world, I know. But everything on the interwebs is not true. But everything on my website is true. So that's awesome. Um, I actually still have this old Yahoo group that, that exists, but people don't really post on it anymore. That was my only, like, foray into 
social media. That was years ago. But you can always email me, though. I do the emails. And, you, again, just go to my website and email me right from there. Okay. Um, we've been the Ohio Guys on location. And uh, she's Tiffany. I'm Mike. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>